as if we didn't need to see it again. We know this, that when Labour run things, they run them badly. Londoners are starting to see through it, and we have a brilliant candidate in Susan Hall, who will, on the 2nd of May, prove to Sadiq Khan that actually Sadiq can't. <laughs> and we will, and I don't think I'm breaking any state secrets here, also have a general election. Now, this is likely to be a general election where the Conservatives enter as the underdogs. And I know in recent years, you will have had difficult conversations with voters. I certainly have. But I would say just three things about those conversations. First, every single conversation I have had on the doorstep has been improved by the mention of Rishi Sunak and the job that he does as our Prime Minister. Second, that there is no enthusiasm for Sir Keir Starmer and even less trust in him. And third, that wherever Labour runs something in the country, they run it badly. Let me tell you first about our great Prime Minister. The message coming across loud and clear from the doorstep is that people can see we're moving in the right direction, that the Conservatives are getting on with the job and that Rishi Sunak is the right man to steer this country through extremely challenging times. People understand also the tough choices and the trade-offs that true leadership entails. They look at our Prime Minister and see someone who is prepared to make the tough, long-term decisions to get the country on the right path for our future. Someone who's not afraid to challenge the old-style Westminster politics of short-termism that we have seen so much of in the past. That earns respect. It wins trust. And it will be by continuing to win that trust and respect that we will also win nationally next.